Oh my god, diamonds. Alright, let's mine them. Oh my god, Minecraft, but every block you break explodes. This explosion has the strongest TNT, which is both good and bad. I can get resources quickly, dig quickly, however, since TNT does a lot of damage, I have to be extremely cautious to make sure I don't blow myself up. Not to mention that the explosion radius can cause unexpected dangers to come my way. Make sure to watch the entire video to see how I attempt to beat the game with this double-edged sword. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, it does nothing against you, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna enable the command. There, exploding blocks have been enabled. Alright, here we go. You ready for this? Okay, just getting a tree. You know, just getting a tree. Alright then. So yeah, resources are really easy to get all of a sudden, but you take a lot of damage when you break a block, so it's gonna be very annoying. And I'm speaking from past experiences. No, we got flint now, and hopefully we should get some stone easily with this. And yeah, food's gonna be big on this because like, oh, I need to regen a lot. I guess for now I can use this mushroom if everything drops. Yeah, but we need to get food really quickly here. And we also have to make sure we don't just randomly break this grass. I'm scared. I I feel like I'm I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, we survived. Please. All right. Hopefully we shouldn't be starving now if I don't blow myself up here. Like that. Well, at least I'm at full health without wasting any hunger. Yep, that was worth it. That was worth it. Yeah, but as long as, like, there's a block between you, you're fine. Like, it's just like a bed. Dude, cows are actually the most annoying type of animal to kill. If you set them on fire, they just run at, like, warp speed away from you into water, and then you can't chase them down. I swear, they're faster than players. Okay, now we have a bucket, so we can go to the nether right now, but I don't think we're ready. Also, if you break the block you're breaking, it drops the item, then the TNT explodes, so the TNT actually blows up the item, so you should probably break the block next to it like that if you want to get your stuff back. I think we should just get a ton of iron before we go to the nether. There's so much iron in this cave. Previous attempts, I had to strip mine for it. There's actually a ton of iron in this one spot of a cave. Like, I can probably get full iron from this. Yeah, I can. I have so much iron. Actually, I think this is enough. I think we're gonna stop here. We're just gonna get that coal vein I saw earlier. Actually, no, let's get some more food. We actually need a ton of food. Whoa! I've done that so many times. Just like, go to sleep, skip the night. Just like, cook our iron a little bit. No, that's cooking. Let's just get some more food. Alright, I think we have plenty of food. Let's just check up on the furnaces. Let's just make our full set of armor right here. Looking shiny. Let's just make all of our tools too. Axe, pickaxe, and a shovel. And we have plenty of iron to spare. You need to make a shield too. Shields are very important. And there we go, I think we're set. Let's just get rid of this. Now we need to find a lava pool. Either we can like look for a surface pool, which is kind of boring, or we can just like dig down and find underground lava pools there. You know, we should probably find the lava pool before our flint and steel breaks. Although we have a quite a lot of iron. What should I do though? I think we should just blast mine and then look for lava pools maybe. Maybe we might be able to find some diamonds. Just I heard a creeper. That is not very nice. Okay, it's right here. Luckily, it took a lot of damage from the explosion. You too, buddy. Watch this. Bam. <laughs> this is an amazing plugin. We can just go down this cave. I don't like trust being like plain stone for very long. I think we're gonna have to go down anyway. If a creeper comes down, lands on my head, that's gonna be so stupid. A few moments later. There are zero lava pools down here. <gasps> There's diamonds. Yeah, we're at diamond level. There should be lava pools coming with the. That's a creeper. Don't blow up my diamonds, please. Okay, well, it's underwater anyways. I do not want a creeper landing on my head, breaking the diamonds. That would be so frustrating. It's- seriously? It was a one vein. I can't do anything with one diamond except make a shovel. Oh, there's an enderman here. I'm gonna kill it with explosion damage, watch this. Wow, okay, it actually one-shots it. Three weeks later. Okay, this is- this is not working out as planned. Maybe we should just go back and search for a surface lava pool. What did we get out of this one diamond? Totally worth it. Oh, I broke the wrong block. Okay, that could have been really, really bad. Alright, we're on surface. 
Let's just get out of here. Later. There's literally no lava pools. Should I, I want to go back down, but at the same time, I don't want to. And even if I find a lava pool, it's probably going to take me another, like, 30 minutes to find the fortress. There's literally no lava pool. Yeah, okay, screw this. I'm going to go down. 20 minutes later. Wait. I hear it somewhere around here. It's either above, below, left, or right. That, that, that's basically every single direction. Oh, there it is. Okay, we found it. Thank God, we actually found it. And it's in a ravine. How nice. If I mess up, I can have so much lava that I can use. I should probably do this next to land, because I'll show you in a sec what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna do this next to land. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm, I'm an idiot. Well, I just made some land for myself. All right, so I'll show you why. Actually, it's better if I do this on obsidian. So I have to, so no, you have to break this block. Kind of destroys everything around it, but it still works. It still works, but you have to like remake everything basically. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Okay. Okay, it worked. Okay, we're fine. Let's just hope another fortress isn't like 2,000 blocks away. No, it's definitely 2,000 blocks away from spawn. Or it's not. Okay, I'll take it. Finally, some good fortress luck. Guess we blow it up. Hey. Now, I really have to make sure I don't break a block near the blaze spawner or else I lose the blaze spawner. That's not going to be good. Oh, there's a spawner here. Let's get our blaze rods. Luckily, this isn't a closed space, so like there's no uh, interference. And we have to make sure we have dream luck for pearl trading or else we're going to be here for about another hour. Oh, I just realized I, by doing that, I have to like blow up this area in order to get back. There we go. We have eight. Break this. Now let's get some gold. Oh god, that's the problem about blast mining in the nether. Please, please. Please, please. Oh, okay, thank god. I'm not standing near the explosion area. I probably shouldn't be mining upwards. I'm not gonna break that. I don't even care. I'm not gonna break it. Now we get out of here. And I don't even know the way back. Oh, never mind. Come here, come here, come here. Yes. Not up there! No! Don't do it. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I want to trade with you, my guy. Holy! He jumped! Dude, this man! Dude! Dude, I want to trade with you, okay? Come on, come in. Come in. Come inside. Okay. This is not good, actually. This is not good. I have to kill you. I had to. Either that, or I break the blocks around it, which is just gonna kill me, too. Well, I guess the solution here is just armor. I'm pretty sure the explosion doesn't affect piglins, but I'm gonna push this guy away just to be sure. Oh! No, 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 please, go down, hunger. I should live, though, I should live. I should live! Okay, alright, I'm gonna start negotiating. Come here, my good sir, give me something good. Where are the rest- Did he pick up- Did you pick up my- Oh my god, did this guy pick up my gold? I swear, that was so unfortunate. Dude, where did my gold ingots go? I swear if, like, the pig- If the pigman pick, picked it up, that would be BS. Wait, let's take this- Take this, my friend. Hey, there's more of the fortress right there. Surprised I didn't notice that. Oh, there's two of them. There's three! Three of them spawn. Oh, I can trap them all. Please, please, don't run away. Three's good enough. I don't need four of them. Oh, netherite. Well, that's useless for me. Oh, okay. I got the gold. I got the gold. I think they, they, they most likely do spawn. Let's just check on this guy first. Well, I didn't leave. He despawned. Well, I have a ton of gold now. I don't know how I got that. Was that the gold that I dropped earlier? I swear it's the gold that I dropped earlier. This guy. Look at this man. <laughs> I see no god up here other than me. Huh? They all despawned. I cannot let them despawn on me. Three weeks later. Yes, we got the pearls. One last gold. Please give me pearls. Please give me pearls. Oh my god. I need more gold. I need dream luck. Dude, what is my RNG? My RNG. And my helmet broke. That's not fair. Many months later. <gasps> yes, 14. Let's go. That's enough. That's enough. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. This sucks so bad. Oh my god, that took so long. Oh, now, let's make like a new set of armor just in case. Alright, let's go back up to the surface. Um, how do I get back? <laughs> oh, I came from here. That's right. Hopefully no creepers just drops on me. And we're back. Finally, and it's nighttime. Alright, let's see where it goes.
this way. Well, yeah, I'm I'm pretty far from spawn. Should be this way. All right, let's see. Have we passed it? No, we have not. It goes backwards. The stronghold should be somewhere around this. Oh, there's a village. So at this point in the video, basically, I left to do something and then I came back to record. And somehow, like the idiot I am, I forgot to record my microphone for this part. So basically, I'm just going to be like commentating over this footage. So basically here, I have found that the stronghold is somewhere in the middle of this dark oak forest. I'm just verifying the position of the stronghold before I do anything else. And I mark the position with netherrack because I'm planning on going to loot the village and get some more arrows for the ender dragon. And while I was in the village, I didn't really do much except get the iron golem and get some hay bales for bread. And I went back to the area that I marked, started blast mining, and found the stronghold. Now I remember, this, finding the portal room, took literally three entire years. Like, I was going around in circles in the same area of the stronghold just to find out that the area where the portal room was was in a completely different disconnected area from where I landed, and that was really frustrating. As you saw right there, I broke the silverfish spawner without realizing that the plugin existed. So basically, I almost killed myself on top of the silverfish trying to eat me alive after I exposed them. So then I realized that I don't have that much food, I only have a few pieces of steak and not as much bread as I thought I would have, so I decided to cook up my chicken, go back up to the surface and get some more cooked food, get some more wood for the arrows and I crafted up my arrows with some leftover flint that I had. I filled in the portal, crafted some beds, and then I went through. weird I didn't get the achievement but I guess that's how I coded the plugin but anyways I defeated the ender dragon I got the dragon egg I tried to go through the portal but then it just wouldn't let me back into the overworld and then weird things started happening like I was able to glitch through blocks and at one point I wasn't able to place blocks and I, I just couldn't get back into the overworld and for some reason the game was trying its hardest not to let me log out but I logged out eventually and I fixed the issue. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a bit of a different one. Let me know if you want to see more of me making these weird plugins and trying to beat the game with them. And yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.